Hello everyone, I'm going to walk you through installing Monero on Windows. This is the old huge memory version of Monero. Um, I'm also going to show you how to set it up with a scheduler. So basically the huge memory, you know, resource gobbling effect will only be seen when you're not actively using the computer. So hopefully this will allow you to keep your node up to date so you can make transactions whenever you want as opposed to waiting for the blockchain to update every single time you want to restart it. Alright, so get Monero.org, getting started, all Monero downloads, you want to download your Windows 64 bit and it'll save it wherever. And then you want to download your blockchain bootstrap, that's many gigs, it'll take a while and you want to put that here and the way you get to this folder, just hit copy and go to computer. Then up here, just hit paste and then enter. Ah. All right. Duh. So you want to make a new folder here called BitMonero. Yeah, so then you can copy it there. All right. So uh, that means I gotta copy mine over. Eh. Okay, I'll see that. Okay, I decided not to do that, um, but instead. I'm going to where I stored my uh, my Monero. I called it Monero and RAM. So here's all the EXEs and what have you. Uh, I made some notes. So to make the scheduler, uh, we just need to go here. This is just what I googled to find how to do a scheduler. So I'll post this link, but. All you do is go here and type sketch, go to task scheduler, and then we'll go to create task. All right, so we'll call it Monero. This all looks good. Go to triggers, new. And then we'll have it run on idle. All right. Actions, nope. Oh yeah, so we need an action. Go to new, start program, yeah. Good, okay. So we'll go to where uh, my Monero is. I'm tell it to run that. Now in these arguments we can actually have uh, Monero run uh, mining when it starts. Um, so for that, how would we do that? We would we would start it with start mining. And then we put in your address. And then that would do it with one thread. And then we tell it I'll give it two. Alright, so that'll do that. And then condition. So you want to start the task when the computer is idle for 
I, I don't know how this works because over here it says, or something I googled said it waits 15 minutes. So I don't know what this 10 minute thing is. But I want to make mine run as quickly as I can because maybe you could see it. Um, stop if the computer can cease it to be idle. Disable this because basically this prevents. Okay, it was still recording. So, back here, conditions. Yeah, keep that off. Uh, you can change all that if you want. I don't know what that is. Turn that off. Uh, well, we're not telling it to stop. Okay, that all looks good. Task or folder? Oh, okay, well, I guess it has my task from when I first made it. So we'll just call this Monero 2. And yep. So that's making the task. And you can see it in our task schedule library. Yeah, so there's my original one. So let's delete that. Deleted. Disable. Deleted. Okay, and that's that's it. So basically, it will run. Um, so I'm gonna wait 15 minutes, but then I can't start it because then it won't be idle. Oh no. Yeah, I'll just pause and wait. All right. I gotta go find something to do for 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Because hopefully it'll just start, and then it'll keep running. All right. All right, well, it looks like it just started. I don't know how much time has passed, but we see that uh, this thing popped open. Task engine. So that's where it is. All right. So, yeah, you know, say you'd... Whatever, just had this running, and you came back tomorrow morning. And you're like, well, I want to, you know, not be using this anymore. So you just go ahead and type exit. I wonder if it's even mining. Probably not. Or, you know, once it's synchronized, because I doubt it's synchronized yet. But once it is synchronized, you could load simple wallet. Of course, it's not gonna like it, but then you just make your file name if you haven't run it before. And you're gonna get uh, 25 word seed, make a password, then you get your seed, and with the seed, you can do wallet restore. And that is it. And so, yeah. But if you wanted to kill it, just type in exit. And there you go. And then if it's at idle, it would load it again. So, yeah. With that, you should be able to keep your node up to date without it being too intrusive. And actually, you know, mine some coins on a solo node. Uh, to help support the network in a non-obtrusive uh, way. Um, yep. So, thanks for tuning in.